we should bear in mind that this is something really unprecedented. There is not a single trade agreement signed by Europe, at least not a regular trade agreement, that contains these kind of clauses. So I think in the end, we have from the European side asked for something that is, well, it's great if we get it uh, as much as possible, and it should be as costly for the Brits as possible. But in the end, we are likely to take whatever is on the table. How far could the UK stray from European laws if there happened to be no ratchet clause? I mean, what are we talking about here down the track? Well, there are different kind of ratchet clause. I mean, the most common one that you would have in trade negotiation is that you would not become any worse than you are today when you enter into negotiations. And these are very difficult to uphold. And of course, uh, over the course of time, people do forget what state you were when you enter into the negotiations. But in the end, we have to remember that for the UK, um, the, the ability to actually deviate from European taxes, social rules or industrial subsidy is actually the entire dividend of Brexit. It's actually the only dividend of Brexit to be able to compete for foreign investments from the US and Asia in the future.